Hey, what is going on people of YouTube today? We're gonna... Well, we're still playing on Black Ops obviously, but this time... We're a bit of a storytelling thing in my bob. And what happened with me and my friend, Elliot? Say hello. Say hello. Awesome. Be expecting to see a video with him on Saturday if he actually contributes. Oh dear. So let's get on with the story. I'm going to tell the story from the the start. So basically, we went to the street. We, me and Elliot, this bloke. Yo yo go. He's just going to say yo yo the whole day. We went to stand near the car park at the start. And basically, this is where the squad messed up. This is where it all began. So basically, we were playing football. Then the two guys, no, the one guy, he came. And he's like, you know what? No, yeah, sure. <laughs> we played the game. And then after that, we had this li this man, this is Fergus. He was sitting there with a hat on. And we were like, okay, is this Never Again Peter at the moment? <laughs> he just looked at me and he was playing the MRG soundboard. He was like, not be part of our squad. But then we soon realised that he was the legend. The legend of Fergus. And then that was when the whole squad met up. We have Kane, everybody, who you don't really need to talk about. So basically, we're gonna like skip the story around a bit. So, Kai went up to this girl who we called Nice Eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Because as you can tell, she had nice eyes, well you can't see her, but you know, what we're talking about. And we, oh god, hello, hello Jim, J Jimmy Savile. Okay, he went up to him and said, what did he say? He went up to this person and then the two, her little two sisters, asked if he, if um, he liked um, her. And um, he said, in Polish, I would like to... And then this is where it all kicked off. So basically, she was going out with a chav who was called, <laughs> who'd be called Manbag. Because she wears one of the little man bags from Sports Direct. <laughs> Pretty fabulous bags they are. And we were just. <laughs> <laughs> and basically, after that, we walked sort of towards them, just like, well, after this. Basically, okay, we just need to go back a bit. We went up to him, and because, like, we don't even know, because it is a child, we start, we got loads of little two peas in our finger, and sort of thrown at him. And then, because he was in the arcade with all his clan, he sort of chased after us, with his old squad. And this. So basically, knowing the pussy that I am, I ran with Elliot and the whole squad, we ran back to the car park, <laughs> and Elliot, no, yeah, and then Elliot, the person on the phone, dive bombed into the bush <laughs> with some chav running at his top of speed like Usain Bolt after him. <laughs> Almost hitting his spot on the scooter, but then he just like turtle dived into the bush, never to be fi um, seen again. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and then we was around to the car park, and then after they just lost us because obviously I'm just. Absolute pace abuser can beat Walcott in a race. I just like wrecked him. So after that, I walked back. We all walked back because we just, as you do. And then I found Elliot in the bush hiding, and he just like emerged out of the bush, didn't you, Elliot? <laughs> He's like, you what, lads? Um, I was like, yeah, just a little bit of a little run from the um. Penny grabber, and then we went back. We went to go and see him, <laughs> and then this was the time we just threw loads of pennies at him. We just we just got bought loads of pennies, and we just threw them all at him, like just absolutely like throw them at his face, and he kept on picking them all up. And then the Fergus bloke, he did loads of Scottish Scottish accents, and then well, this is what happened. Went into the bar, and because he looked like a freaking 16 year old who was about to rape us, he got. He went into the bar, that bit, and it's called the Fun Zone. What a lovely place. 
And he went up to the bar. We all sat down and he got four vodka shots of these ma vodka <laughs> tequila shots of massive like strewed straws. And one of them can fit in four and he had four of them. Which is sixteen. If my maths is absolutely terrible, I'm very sorry. But I think it is. I'm not out that. So we drank four of them in about ten seconds. And we were like We're just like Bruh You gotta just your brain cells are not even gonna be there. You're gonna be off your head. You're gonna be raping children and you're gonna have a criminal pedo record. Or something like that. So <laughs> <laughs> and then we started doing dares. Okay, this Fergus. Okay. Basically, we went to the shop over the road. Well, not over the road. Over um, the other side of the fun zone. And he bought... Do you know, like, the necklace beads? But he called it aim beads because it was already off his head. So when we got them, we we were just, we were just the swaggers of the Pontins. We just... The swag Pontins crew. That's what we're going to be called. There we go. So... After that, we went. Is that? Ah, give me it. Okay. <laughs> we went out and then we started doing a bit of dares. The first one was obviously Fergus. We dared him. Why are these bouncing bays? Jesus Christ. We went. We told him to dare, and we, he said he had. It's basically. Do you know them like rockin'y machines where you put the coins in and they go up and down? Yep, yeah, don't tell it the wrong way. If you don't know what it is, just, just go with it. Basically, there was. Four kids in there, and basically he had to go in there and just go hell out, kiddies. And basically, <laughs> he just sat in there, looked at me like, all right, kiddies, and they just literally ran. They, they were gone. So they knew if they were going to stay there, their anuses would have been more stretched than a friggin' lion. Even though that makes no sense, I can't think of anything more stretched than an elastic band around hair. <laughs> Bro, I shot you. Anyway. <laughs> Um, so after that he went then we dared Kai to go and look at some ladies and he just stood near and just started waving but now this is where the real stuff comes in oh my god so after this we went outside and we met these two people one was the fake comedy shorts gamer <laughs> which is probably the funniest and this off his head lunatic on bringing drugs or whatever it's called he's look sweating more than s I can't even think sweat s I don't even know what what sweats a lot sweating more than an obese cat there we go and this one Elliot said a joke <laughs> Elliot what was the joke that you said okay we don't remember the joke but Elliot just said Ed Elliot said something like a joke I, I think it I don't know what it was about to be honest what? Towards black people, not racist. I don't think it was anyway. He's not the racist sort of person, so don't hate. Don't be so... Well, actually, he's... It can be quite racist. It, it just depends on the actions, what he's doing. And then... <laughs> he said that, and about a minute later... <laughs> this black guy just said something. He just, went, he just went there, and he just started laughing. And he just said... <laughs> I just realised that was the joke. <laughs> he just said that. And we all just burst out laughing. He just... After like a minute later, he just like, I just realised what he meant. It's re I just realised, my brain processed. I just realised that was a joke. <laughs> and we had this other one, this sweaty guy. He was going to fall over. And we were just all there. Oh dear me. We were just all there. And then... Did I rainbow flicked him, didn't I, Elliot? Yeah, I ra Yeah, I rainbow flicked him, and then he just got really, really annoyed. He, he just had a rage in me, but he was off his head on 90% alcohol. Like, the rest... Like, his bloodstream was full of alcohol. And, you know, that's sort of what happened. Anything else? So, basically, after that, we all went to the car park. And we turned on the tunes. There was like some like they're just listening to crappy tunes. And then, and then I just turned on the tunes. Turned on the unicorn zombie apocalypse and rocket. And then breath. Everybody was raving. Basically, all of them pulled their pants. Not pants. They pulled their trousers. 
Yeah, Kai Ka was the only one. He took to the next level. He took his pants down. He was like, bleh. What the frig? He, he was off. He was raving more than friggin' a raven. I'm just gonna pick up this gun. Shout out for your gun. And then he was raving. <laughs> yeah. We just raved and then we went home and we just went to our crappy chalets and went to sleep. Yeah, we went at 12. We saw my mom. <laughs> and we went to um, see him the next day. But knowing me, I didn't wake up. I, I, I fully regret. Regret. No, I'm not using that. I'm terrible. Oh, hello. So, it seems that's the end of the video. Hope you like this little story of just pontins. Like what you want to see next. No, like. Comment what you want to see next. And please subscribe. Yeah, on Saturday, be sure to stay tuned to see Elliot, me. Just comment something below, whoever you are. Just just comment. Like, if you're watching this now, I know you are. Yeah. Just, just watch. Just comment anything. Just comment. Just do it. And you get to see us. Just do it. Okay. So, hit the like. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And... Bye! -bye. <laughs>